I'm gonna show you how my three-step backswing sequence gave a 70-year-old former Division I athlete 20 more yards on his drives. We know that distance in the golf game is an important part, and one of the ways to get more distance is to lengthen our swing. And as we get older, and we lose flexibility, and we have some previous injuries, we don't move like we used to move. So the more that we can turn, the more hip turn we can have, the longer we can make the backswing. So let me just demonstrate this for you. If I restrict my hip turn because I have a bad back, or maybe I've been told to not turn my hips, this is about as far as I can swing the golf club. So I'm gonna make an effort to restrict my hip turn, okay? And I want you to watch the length of my swing. Notice how long the swing is, okay? So here we go. All right, now I hit that pretty solid. It was maybe a little bit on the toe. So I've got my GC quad here to validate it. And that one carried about 200 yards. But you could notice because of the restricted hip turn, my length of swing couldn't get very long. All right, so let's hit another one here. And this one, I'm gonna actually allow the hips to turn, and I'm gonna make a longer swing, and we're gonna check out the distance on that, and then we're gonna get into that sequence. More hip turn, longer swing. Okay, that one felt, wow, that really felt solid and launched, and I could feel the freedom in the swing, and it actually, okay, so that one carried almost 40 yards longer. A longer swing is gonna give us more distance. So let's talk about this three-step sequence. If you followed any of our stuff, you know that in the setup, we like about a 60-40 split, and when we're set up, we like the weight to be a little bit more on the lead foot. So when we're set in there, we've got about 60% of our weight on our lead foot, 40% on the trail foot. So the first step in the three-step sequence is a slight bump. So I start on the lead and I bump to the trail. See how I do that? Start lead, bump trail. So by the time my lead arm is about parallel to the ground, I've got probably 70, 80% of my weight on my trail foot. And it's this shifting of pressure it's this shifting of weight that can give me more distance. We go through the three power sources in the book, The Bad Lie, which we wrote specifically for the experienced golfer, and we cover that in an entire chapter. But that's the first step in the sequence, is I want you to start forward, and I want you to bump the hip to the trail side. Step number two in the sequence is the release. That's the release of the trail leg. When the trail leg releases, that allows the hips to turn more. You see how I'm doing that? So when this knee and this leg releases, the hips turn. If this stays flexed, it restricts movement. So step one in the sequence is the bump. Step two is the release. The third step, all right, is what we call the back. My main man, Nick, down the line, give him a thumbs up, Nick, there he is. Nick's with us every single time, pulling this stuff and putting it together. Nick's got me wearing the mic box in my back pocket. And this is a key part to the pivot. I want this back pocket, okay? Maybe it's for you, it's a phone. I want that box going backwards. That's step three in the sequence, that's the back. So let's go through them together, and then we're gonna talk about this great setup change I made with David to get him 20 yards. All right, here we go. I got the bump in the sequence. Step two, I've got the release. Step three, I've got the back. All right, let's do a little three-setter, and then we're gonna hit one, and we're gonna check out what the launch monitor tells us. So here we go, I got the bump, the release, the back. Boom, there's one. Bump, release, back. Notice how the hip's going back. The mic box is going back, bump it, release it, back. All right, let me go ahead and hit one, and I want you to notice here the length of the swing. I'm gonna bump it, I'm gonna release it, and I'm going back. All right, I pulled that one a little bit. I could say I shut the face down, went a little bit to the left in all honesty, but let's check out the distance on that one. I'm thinking it was pretty good. Okay, carry 240, that's not bad for me. It's not bad for me. I don't know if I'm experienced a golfer or not. I don't know, Nick's laughing back there. I don't know if I'm experienced at this age. I'm in my 50s, but some days I feel, I feel experienced. And you know this too, we love hearing where you're from. Hey, put it in the comments. We love hearing where you're from. Nick and I, the team, we read all those. We love hearing about that and responding to you. Let me talk about the setup change I made for David, former Division One college athlete played basketball. This guy, he had some game, but he did not have the distance. For a guy who is athletic, I mean, I don't care if he's in his 70s. If you're an athlete, you're an athlete your whole life. Do you agree with that? If you do, put it in the comments, because if you're 70 and you were an athlete as a kid, you're still an athlete when you're 70. But what was happening is his setup was off. So let me show you what he had. He had his upper body tilted like this. Notice how his tr my trail shoulder's high, my lead shoulder's low. Now, when he was set like this, one is, is his shoulders were okay, open, and that restricted his turn, and because his trail shoulder was higher, he couldn't complete his upper body turn. All right, so all I simply did is said, all right, David, here's what I want you to do. Come in with your lead hand first. Grip it in your lead hand, put the club behind the golf ball, 
and raise the handle a little bit. Now when I raise the handle, you can see it from down the line, from the front view, what happens to my shoulders? They tilt, right? Here is David, okay? Great athlete in his 70s. Here's David after working with us. Now what this did for him is by getting his shoulder up, it helped him hit up on the golf ball. Okay, it's one of the things that's great about launch monitors is that you can actually see if you're hitting up on the golf ball. So let's tie it together. All right, more hip turn equals a longer swing. I got the three-step sequence, the bump, the release in the back, and I'm gonna get my setup dialed in. Here we go, I'm raising it a little bit. I'm set in there. Oh, wow. That was the best one of the day. That thing was launched, it was high. What, oh, I hit up on that 4.6 degrees. That was money, carry 265. So now that I've given you 20 to 30 yards with your drives, check out this setup change I made with Claire that also added 25 yards to her drives.